I love time blocking, but you know what I love even more than time blocking? Matching your time blocking with your tasks. And look for you, Morgan has that at its disposal. And not only that, it does it well. The nice part about time blocking in a traditional calendar is you have a guide for what you need to get done. But what if you were able to actually categorize the specific things you're going to do within certain time blocks? And the exact same thing happens when it comes to a to-do list. If you have no time blocking with a to-do list, your good intentions kind of thrown to the wayside because there's no time to do them. But luckily Morgan bundles those two concepts into one very nice and convenient bundle. Now you're not gonna schedule every single task in a system like I'm gonna show you right now. I'm not gonna schedule when I'm gonna go to the bathroom in the afternoon. I'm not gonna schedule when I wash my hands, but I might schedule specific things like instead of just a time block for getting specific work done in a theme of my life, I can categorize it a little bit further into maybe I'm recording a video during this session. So for example, you see a week right here. There's a lot of different meetings. I got so many meetings. So slotting things in between these meetings is really important. So what if we took this and we knew this space was Rise Productive, which is my side gig, but instead we do this. Now you'll see I have it a little bit more cleared out for me to fit in my side hustle work before I go to my day job. And what I can do here is untoggle this to the left. And instead of having general blocks when I'll do just Rise Productive work, I can use Morgan Tasks or the integration with Todoist to set up very easy tasks. So I know I have to record video edit video. And even further than that, I have other responsibilities. So I know that these would have been in the first place in my Rice Productive bucket right here. So then there's some other life stuff I have to do. Like, for example, I know I got to get the groceries and I put that in my growth bucket because, you know, I think that that helps me grow as a person. So I'll put buy groceries. And then another one would be improved notion consulting workflow. So that would just be a brainstorming session. So now we have this morning and I'm like, eh, I got to fit time of some recording. I look at this and I think, all right, recording takes a decent amount of time. I get up at about 4.30, so I can slot this guy right in here before this meeting. Now I think about it, I gotta do multiple videos, so I'm gonna record videos and then quickly and copy this event, paste this right in here, slide it over here, and then I'm going to change this one to edit videos. And I'm gonna slide edit videos right here because that is the most consistently long workflow. And then I'm gonna take the improved Notion Consulting workflow, slot this right in here. And then maybe on Thursday, I wanna be a human being and just let myself sleep until close to seven. Now, I have this open space during work so that I can slot in specific tasks on the work week, but what if I wanted to fit in a time to buy groceries? I usually have half days on Friday, so I think I can slide in buy groceries right here, maybe chill a little bit less, grocery a little bit more. And then you'll see my to-do list is empty and I have specific actionable times when I'm going to do what I need to get done for the week. There's almost a sense of power that you have over your time when you allocate it like this. Yes, there may be a lot on my calendar. Yes, I may be a little bit crazy at how much I try to do on a daily basis, but what I do have is a tool that backs me up when it comes to keeping myself accountable for getting tasks done in certain time windows. There's actually a law that supports this called Parkinson's law. Generally speaking, time that you give a task actually correlates pretty heavily with the amount of time that it takes for it to get done. So for example, if you noticed when you were in school or if you're currently in school, if you were doing a paper and it was due in two months, it usually took you about two months to complete that task. However, if it was due next week, you'd probably get it done in a week. Same thing with this. By having these specific time blocks, I'm able to at least minimize the amount of time that it takes for me to get specific tasks done that may not need to take as long as I think they do. Another great thing is you can actually set this so that if you mark yourself as busy during this time frame, it will protect yourself against more bookings. So I'm gonna go here, mark this as busy, and then no one can no one can bother me. Nobody can bother me during these time frames so I can actually get videos recorded and so I don't have any more meetings. Take over your to-do list, take over your time, take over your life with Morgan. Thank you so much for watching this video and if you wanna check out all of our other videos on Morgan, make sure to check out the rest of our content.